Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us on our Sump Pump Check Valve live webinar. My name is Steve Hudson. I am the quality manager here at Beauchard Industries. I also have Will Bender and Paul Erb with me. It's really exciting for us to offer education in this way to our customers. I'm going to now pass it off to Will. Hello and welcome, everybody, to our webinar on Sump Pump Check Valves. We're glad you decided to join us. My name is Will Bender. I am the Quality Assurance Analyst here at Beauchard Industries, and backing me up, I have Paul Erb, who is the Research and Development Manager, and Steve Hudson. Feel free during the presentation to type out any questions that you have. We will do our best to answer all questions after the presentation. If you want to type out a question, you should see a sidebar on the right-hand side of your screen. If you click on the top button, which looks like an arrow in a box, it will open up a little menu with a question box where you can type your questions and we will be able to see them. Please note the slide number if you're referencing a specific slide. The numbers will be displayed on the bottom right hand of the slide. Stay connected with us by following Beauchart on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. In the presentation, we'll cover a little bit about the difference between sump and sewage valves, their applications, and when the two can overlap. I'll go over some features of these two valves and go over some quality assurance initiatives that we have here at Beauchard Industries. So what are sump pump check valves? First, we need to understand what a check valve is. If you don't know what a check valve is, a check valve allows a media to flow through the valve, but only in one direction. So, water can flow through the valve when the pump is running, but when the pump shuts off, the water wants to flow back towards the pump. The valve prevents this by allowing the weight of the water to push down on the flapper, and this causes it to close. To fully understand these valves, we need to take a look at and understand the applications where they are used. Sump pump systems remove water that comes into the sump pit through the weeping tile. The pump ejects water from the sump pit, number one on the picture, out through a discharge beyond the backfill, so backfill zone, which is number two on the picture. The backfill zone is typically a minimum of 10 feet from the foundation. The reasoning behind this is so that the water won't seep back down to the weeping tile, where you would end up pumping the same water over and over again. You can reference our installation tips on our Beauchart U website to view more details. Effluent, which is also referred to as gray water, collects in the septic tank as it separates from the solid waste as shown by arrow one. In an effluent system, that gray water then flows and is stored in an effluent tank, number two on the picture there, where a sewage ejector pump can discharge the waste from there to a weeping bed or to a municipal piping so that it can get treated elsewhere, as shown by arrow 3. The septic tank may not collect all solids, so the effluent pump, discharge piping, and check valve all need to be able to handle 3 quarter inch waste or larger. Sewage systems can run by gravity, or if it is more practical, a sewage ejector pump will be needed to remove waste. The sewage ejector pump, shown by arrow 1, will eject waste to a septic tank or a municipal sewer line, shown by arrow 2. Sewage check valves are often required for basements where sewage must be pumped up to a discharge line. All sewage valves are required to handle a minimum of 2 inches for solid waste. Now we can look closer at the valves. Some pump check valves should be installed close to the floor after the pump, as shown by arrow 1. This will reduce the amount of water that drains back to the pump after each cycle. The closer the check valve is to the pump, the less the pump will have to eject the same water that drains back down to the pit, which means the more efficient your system will be. And the more efficient your system is means that the pump is cycling less. So the pump life is prolonged. When installing valves with flexible rubber couplings or compression gasket connections, thrust blocking is required to prevent lateral movement or blow off in the pipe that could separate those types of connections. You can see the wooden thrust protection installed at the top of the piping by arrow two. 
It is important to note not all plumbing codes are equal, so it is the responsibility of the installer to understand the local code before installing a system. Bosharts offers two operating designs of swing check valve, the gravity type flapper and a spring assisted flapper design. The first design operates by gravity. The pump can force water through, but gravity and the weight of the water will push back to close. The benefits of this design are that it is more economical and it takes very little force to open. This means that it can run on a battery powered backup pump in emergencies. Both this design and the next feature 15 degree seats, which reduce water hammer and flapper noise by reducing the time it takes for the flapper to close. The spring-loaded designs eliminate any clunking noise that is common with some check valves. The spring is constantly pushing down to the seat, so there is more restriction on the flapper to open and close rapidly. Since these are quieter than the other design, it is best practice to inspect that the check valve is working every once in a while. There are two body designs of flapper check valves, as well as combination ball check valves, ball check valves, and backwater valves each with their own array of connections and features. The first that I'm going to cover are the compact ABS check valves. All of the compact ABS sump check valves use gravity style design. They are constructed, constructed from two body pieces that are ultrasonic welded together. The flappers are made of one piece to ensure a positive seal on the seat. These should all be installed in a vertical position so the flapper operation is not compromised. These compact valves with threaded inlets may come with three outlets, barbed for sump discharge kits, a slip solvent weld, or an attached flexible coupler. If the flexible coupling is used, the line will need to be thrust blocked because they are more apt to blow off. Also, the PSI rating changes from 25 PSI to 4.3 PSI if using fl rubber flexible couplings, so be cautious of that. Weep holes are a good idea that protect your pump and make the whole system run more efficiently. A threaded check valve will be attached directly to the pump, so there won't be any discharge piping to drill a weeping hole into before the check valve. If the pump does not already include a weeping hole, then the solution is to have one in the valve. A weep hole will allow air to escape as water is drawn into the pump. If the sump basin runs dry, the pump can become airlocked, which prevents water from entering the pump. This is when the air in the pump, uh, and it tries to pull water up, but the air is taking up the space. It's like holding your finger over a straw except that air is being trapped. As well as protecting from air lock, the weep hole will stop a vacuum from occurring under the check valve. This will allow the check valve to open freely so the pump will not have to work as hard to open the valve. Weep holes are often already installed in the discharge casting of many pumps, but there are some that require a weep hole to be drilled into the line before the check valve. Check with the pump manufacturer if unsure. The compact check valves with solvent weld inlets do not come with any flexible coupling configurations and so thrust blocking is not required and the pressure rating is 25 PSI. The compact check valves with, with flexible rubber coupling inlets also have flexible rubber coupling outlets. The maximum pressure rating is 4.3 PSI and these need to be thrust blocked. We have one compact ABS sump pump check valve that can be used in both sump and low pressure sewage applications. Our BSC 200 SB model is our only two inch ABS check valve. It can handle larger sized pumps and meets the two inch size required for sewage applications as long as they are low pressure. A gasket pocket in the body design ensures perfect gasket alignment in a 100% blow off proof flapper gasket. 
All of the white PVC sump and sewage check valves are made from rigid white PVC and they can be used in both sump and sewage applications as long as they meet the criteria. For example, a 2 inch PVC check valve can be used in all applications where a 1.5 inch will only be good for sump and effluent systems. The maximum pressure for these valves is 150 psi at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. When pumping solid free liquids, like in a sump application, it is best practice to install vertically. When pumping solids and semi solids, the valves need to be installed horizontally at most up to a 45 degree angle and oriented as per the markings on the valve, which will say something like horizontal use this side up. The valve will not function properly if the hinge of the flapper is not positioned in the top center. The reason for this is because if you were to pump solids vertically, when the pump shuts off and the flapper closes, the weight of the solids still in the discharge pipe would settle on the top of the flapper, making it difficult or even unable to open. These valves are not just limited to dirty water applications. They can also be used in industrial, pool and spa, and pond systems. The PVC compression check valves can connect onto ABS, PVC, brass, and steel piping, eliminating precise cutting on existing lines. These valves are available from one and a quarter inch up to three inch. The one and a half inch and two inch valves have a spring assisted variant available for a quiet option. The true union valves can also connect to the same piping as the compression valves. These are available in one and a half and two inch sizes. Both sizes have spring assisted options. The solvent weld check valves connect to the same valves as the two previous. These valves are available in one half inch up to four inch. The one and a half inch and the two inch models have spring assisted options. Like the PVC check valves, the combination swing check ball valves offer the same features except that they are equipped with a ball valve and a union. Some wastewater pumping applications require a check valve, an inline ball valve, and a union, so this is a perfect solution. This allows easy service to the line by being able to turn off the flow directly after the check valve, and the union that holds the valve together makes it easy to service either side of the valve. Just like the PVC check valves, these can be installed vertically and horizontally as long as the correct orientation is used for each application, just as I had mentioned before. Beauchart's combination ball swing check valves have a unique feature on the handles. The top of the handles have a built-in spanner wrench for servicing the inside of the valve. The compression combination valves come in one and a half inch and two inch sizes. There is a spring assisted option for both. The true union combination valves also come in one and a half and two inch sizes, and there is a spring assisted option for both. The single union combination valves come in a one and a half and two inch sizes, and there is a spring assisted option for both as well. Ball check valves, which are not to be confused with combination ball swing check valves, are typically used for sewage applications, but it is not limited to them. They feature a clean-out port, which allows easy, easy access to the inside of the valve without removing it from the pipeline. The balls are self-cleaning and won't get caught on any debris that's being pumped. The backwater valves are another type of check valve that are designed for use in residential and commercial applications to prevent backflow in drainage systems. These valves are equipped with a gasketed flapper for a watertight seal and the whole valve is made from corrosion free materials so there will be no rusting, flaking or pitting and the valve can stay smooth. These are used in nominally horizontal drain lines. The step in the body helps keep flow moving towards the discharge and provides clogging protection. The access cap on the top makes it easy to clean out or repair the valve. 
Here at Beauchart, we conduct plenty of tests to ensure that our sump check valves are up to our standards. On the product manufactured by Beauchart, we inspect a sample of each piece involved in the making of the valve by using our IM machine. This provides us with a quick dimensional inspection of each piece. We perform burst testing on a sample of the bodies of the valves to ensure that they surpass our pressure ratings. We also perform body joint tests by using our tensile tester to inspect the body connection strength. The question is often raised, what is the lifespan of these valves? It's a difficult question to answer because every system will have some differences. Typically, our valves will last in an excess of five to seven years, so we recommend replacing it that often. However, if the pump cycles frequently, it can result in the check valve wearing out faster than that. It's good to remember that it is far less expensive to be proactive to an emergency than it is to be reactive to one. If there is a dry season, the pump may not be on for a long time, so it is best practice to cycle the pump by pouring water into the pump every once in a while. It's a good idea to record the date that the check valve was installed somewhere nearby to the valve's installation, maybe a sticker on the wall. That way, it's easier to know when a check valve replacement is due. There are several precautions that can be taken so that in the unlikely event that there is an issue with the system, you can be proactive before any damage is done. Liquid level alarms and auto dialers are a great way to get notified of an emergency if a water or wastewater system is not working properly. The liquid level alarms will create an audible alert if triggered. They also have an, the availability to add more sensors and alert beacons. The auto dialers can be linked with several numbers that will get notified if triggered. That is the end of the presentation today. You can learn more about the features we offer at Beauchart as well as other useful information on plumbing and water well products. At Beauchart U, our goal is to equip you and your team with the knowledge you need to be more successful. We regularly publish new blogs and content that will help you become more comfortable and confident with our products. Thank you. Thank you, Will. Um, we will now start our question and answer period. Uh, we'll just wait for some questions to come in. Okay, uh, Paul here. Uh, we have a, a question in here um, asking, uh, I received a sample of a quiet check valve and the spring slams the poppet closed and it seems to be noisier than the uh, standard gravity closing valve that they used to uh, be selling and if that is normal. So that is a great question. I will explain that because uh, it is absolutely correct. If you receive a sample of the uh, the gravity closing valve and one of the silent valves, and you test it at your desk by opening the poppet and letting it close on its own force, the quiet valve will actually make a slamming sound as the spring hammers it closed against the seat. So it's actually opposite before they're installed into the system. However, when the quiet valves are installed into uh, operational system, the valve is then opened against the spring pressure by the pump forcing the water through the valve. That closes uh, at minimum uh, what they call uh, cracking pressure of only one half PSI. So it has very little restriction on the efficiency of the pumping over a gravity closing valve. So how it operates and why it's quiet is as the pump shuts off at the end of its cycle and it is uh, slowing down and the water flow uh, and pressure decreases, the valve will close as that pressure decreases and the valve will be fully closed with that half PSI against the pressure of the pump. Uh, so by the time the pump actually starts, the valve will be closed and the, it's trying to still uh, press against the poppet a little bit. So it comes down with a very soft cushion against the seat and therefore it's virtually noiseless when it's in actual operation. 
Okay, we have another question that came up. Um, is it code to have a check valve? Well, um, for some checks, it's not always code, but it is highly recommended because it is more efficient and it does save the pump life. Um, make sure to follow the pump manufacturer's instructions because some of them will void warranty if a check valve is not installed. In sewage applications, it is code most of the time um, to stop waste from draining back, so a check valve would be needed and sometimes a ball uh, or a shutoff is required and same with the union, so our combination valves are perfect for that. Uh, make sure to check your local code in your jurisdiction so that you can get all the necessary information. Okay, the next question is, uh, do you have promotional literature uh, to have that counters for wholesalers? Okay, uh, to answer that, we do have uh, data sheets on the uh, combo valves and the combination valves uh, that I think would be very uh, beneficial to have at the counters. So uh, the answer to that would be yes. Uh, simply contact uh, your inside salesperson and they'd be able to help you uh, with getting that sent out. Okay, that's uh, that's it. Uh, that ends our today's webinar. We will be posting uh, this on YouTube, and we'll be sending out uh, links tomorrow and emails. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.